So when it comes to A Nightmare on Elm Street, physical media has not been exactly kind to it. It always starts out really great. When we look back, there was the 1999 DVD box set as well as a really cool VHS box set. But in terms of Blu-ray, we got a pretty slim, not so great Blu-ray release. Don't get me wrong, it's okay. They actually included a couple Freddy's Nightmares episodes in there. But in terms of collecting purposes, and when you look at the other big dogs like Michael and Jason, Freddy has gotten the shaft. And unfortunately, the history shows that it's not that much different with Freddy's Nightmares. One would think that a character that popular should have all the fixings when it comes to physical media, but unfortunately, Freddy's Nightmares has gotten the shaft yet again, but had some glimmers of hope. So today's video, I wanted to talk to you guys about the brief history of Freddy's Nightmares, the show, and the home video releases, and how... Unfortunately, things just keep going downhill for us Freddy fans. So obviously in the 80s, Freddy became the biggest thing since sliced bread. We talk about how big it was when Michael Myers came back in 1988. Well, if you look at the box office numbers of Michael Myers in part four compared to Dream Master 4, there was three to one seats, three asses in the Nightmare on Elm Street movie theater compared to the one to see a Michael Myers film. Now, I'm not trying to hate on Halloween 4. I quite frankly love Halloween 4, but my point is nothing was as big as Freddy Krueger back then. So when you're dominating the theater screen it makes a lot of sense to go into television now Friday the 13th had their series starting around the same time and it actually had some pretty good success it did really well in a lot of late night TV markets Freddy's Nightmares would be pretty much the same it would have a theme show with different kinds of stories with Freddy kind of coming in and out like some sort of crypt keeper I've watched the show I pretty much got through every episode quite frankly the reputation for it is really bad but I think the big issue is people just expect more budget and more quality from the show but honestly the feel of the show is so 80s I love it and a lot of the episodes have some really funny stuff and some of the iconic Freddy stuff and there is great Freddy comes out of a deep fryer at one point Freddy plays the guitar there's some really really funny stuff and I think it definitely has its audience now so back in the day when the show came out there was a lot of physical media stuff for like VHS as a matter of fact in America there was actually a VHS with multiple volumes. They all had similar artwork and they all had a different color scheme. There was a red, a blue, a purple one, a green one, I think. I don't know if it covered all episodes of the show, but it covered a lot. And there was a complete set, so to speak, in America. But what I didn't realize is that overseas, Freddy's Nightmares got a lot of love. In different countries like Germany, Italy, France, there were some not only cool VHS releases, releases, but quite frankly, some absolutely gorgeous releases. Some releases that have artwork that I'm just now seeing for the first time. Things were looking up for Freddy's Nightmares. The show was successful on TV. Everything kind of went downhill at a certain point because I believe Robert England said they started making the show come on earlier and earlier to try to get even more viewers, but I think that ended up backfiring on them. Freddy's Nightmares ran for two seasons, while well, there were pretty long seasons. Friday the 13th, I think, had a little bit of a longer say. That show lasted from 87 to 90, where Freddy's Nightmares, I believe, was 88 to 90. Uh, what show do I like better, you might ask? Well, the truth is, I actually like the Friday the 13th show a little bit better. But that's neither here or there. But I do say you should check that show if you haven't seen it. So with all that being said, looking back, I was shocked that Freddy's Nightmares had a very strong physical media presence. There were multiple, multiple releases in different countries. In the UK, it was still the same. They put the show out on VHS in multiple releases. All kinds of cool clamshell artworks. It was really cool. So the thing that sucks now is if you're an American... There's only one way to own Freddy's Nightmares on any sort of disc format, and that is this, bootlegs. Now, I have a number of bootlegs, which I completely love. This one was gifted to me by a buddy named Dan. What's up, Dan? And my buddy Kyle hooked me up with these. Now, what I love about these is in typical bootleg fashion, the artwork sometimes is supposed to be ridiculous. So what I love is this one. Here's a bootleg I have of Freddy's Nightmares where the artwork is the remake Freddy. Uh, which just makes total sense because it's a bootleg. And this one has Freddy from Part 1 on here. I love the show, and I love owning them on uh, Blu-ray. Now, obviously, the show was not shot in HD, so it's upscaled as best it can be. And it looks okay. I, I think it looks a little bit better or as good as basically what you would see on the streaming sites, which we'll talk about. But Freddy's Nightmares would have a legitimate disc format, but as quickly as it came, it seemed like it ended. Over in the UK in 2003, they got Freddy's Nightmares Volume 1. 
Now, I've seen this online, and there's been a couple times where I wanted to pick this up, but unfortunately, when you learn more about this, the research that I looked up showed that Warner Brothers was not too happy and there wasn't a volume two because the sales were just not there. If you're in the UK, you can get a DVD of volume one. Now, I think there's actually some stuff in different countries that came out years later, but in terms of at the time, official releases, there was a UK DVD. And it's a shame that they never even finished the series on DVD. Apparently, not enough people bought it. Now, it's interesting looking back that the Friday the 13th series got not only one, but two DVD releases. They had individual season releases, which I have. And then a few years later, they put out a box set, a complete box set that is really cool and still available online in typical Paramount fashion for all the crap that they get. They are, in my opinion, the best big studio in terms of physical media because they keep stuff available and they give you options. So, unfortunately, with Freddy's Nightmares, there was never a release in America for DVD or any sort of Blu-ray. Now, a lot of people ask for Freddy's Nightmares on Blu-ray, which I kind of get, but in another sense, it doesn't make sense. I think one cool thing about putting it on Blu-ray is obviously the discs have more storage for one reason, so you could put a lot more episodes on there. And I guess they could try to upscale it as best as they can, but I just want people to understand that if they do ever put the show on Blu-ray, it's not going to look very good. A DVD set would be totally fine, and they could do one just like they did for Friday the 13th. But here's where things start to get a little bit interesting. So a few years ago, we got this big announcement. Now, I learned two things. Number one, Freddy's Nightmares was going to come to a streaming site. Number two, it was a streaming site I'd never heard of. The name of that streaming site was Screambox. Now, I have nothing against Screenbox. As a matter of fact, every time that I've gone to that site, it's actually looked like a really good horror streaming site. But to have more than one horror streaming service is kind of difficult for me to try to justify. So Shudder kind of wins because I've had it longer. But when they had Freddy's Nightmares, you bet your ass I signed up for a free trial. But the interesting thing was not too long after that, Freddy's Nightmares went to Tubi. The streaming site that everybody loves because it's completely free and you just got to watch commercials every now and again. And probably a week or so after that, we got this really cool announcement. Now, this had everybody super excited. Freddy's Nightmares was going to get a German Blu-ray release. Now, I know it's German, but the fact that it was going to get a Blu-ray release had people so excited. They were going to catalog the show on a actual official release. This had people over the moon, including me. I remember doing a stream about it where I was just jumping for joy for two hours because I wanted to own something official. Now, there's nothing wrong with bootlegs, especially at a time like this, because they give you no choice but to get bootlegs. But there's some sort of vindication or good feeling about getting something you love on an official release. That means the studio is acknowledging, hey, I hear you. There's a fan base for this. We're putting it out. And unfortunately, a few days later, for a reason that is not known, some people say it's because of the Craven family, some people say it's because of the studio, but for one reason or another, that Blu-ray release was cancelled. Interestingly enough though, that DVD release carried on from the same company, but I heard from a few people that they were actually missing some episodes on that disc. So all these years later, it just begs the question, what is going on? Why has Freddy's Nightmares never got its official DVD release, much less a Blu-ray release? Again, I'd emphasize that a Blu-ray release would only be beneficial because you fit a lot more discs, a lot more episodes on the discs. But still, if we got a nice DVD box set of it, it would be so cool. I understand that we have the availability to the show now where it's streaming, but that's not what collectors want. I've noticed that a lot of horror fans seem to be physical media fans, and collecting horror physical media is as important as collecting anything else horror memorabilia-wise. So why not put the damn show out on DVD, Warner Brothers? Like, what the hell is going on? It really is a shame, but at least I guess you can watch the show. But why does Freddy keep getting the shaft? We start out really hot and heavy. The VHS releases come from all around the world for the show with incredible artwork and things like that. And then we even got an official DVD release in 2003. They never even did a part two. Freddy continues to get the shaft on physical media and it pisses me off. I know that there will be light at the end of the tunnel one day and hopefully it's in 2024. But God only knows we're all sick and tired of waiting. Not only do I want Freddy's movies on 4K like the original film that's supposed to be getting a 4K, but damn it, we need Freddy's Nightmares on a DVD box set. An official release acknowledging that, yes, the Freddy fans have spoken and we deserve something official. Warner Brothers, if you're listening to this, please make it right.
Huge giant thank you to all of my Patreon supporters. Without you guys, this would not be possible. To get behind the scenes photos, videos, music, private live streams, and much more, you can subscribe to my Patreon for as little as a dollar a month. Thank you to my patrons. Thank you.